Oh yeah, I'm supposed to talk, right? Okay, I gotta get used to this. So when I was nine years old, I walked into this little store, little corner store, and there was this plastic camera on the shelf. And I stared, I stared at that camera for months. I begged my mom for it. I wanted it so bad. Luckily for me, my learning tool, the biggest thing I learned on was Polaroid. So shooting, put a Polaroid in, pull it, you know, a minute and a half later, it's like, wow, look at that. That's where it kind of started. I was illustrating, doing graphic designs, and I remember I was doing the cover for them. It took me about 40 hours to get this cover finished. And then there was another assignment, and it was taking a picture. And I think it was at that moment when I actually picked up a camera, took that picture in one two fiftieth of a second, and I was comparing notes saying, okay, 40 hours of this, or one, one 25th of a second of that. So that's how I ended up being a photographer. I, I ended up leaning more towards people and then trying to take on more fashion work, which uh, was the next, I, I guess that's the next, was the next big step. And we picked up clientele. We were shooting everything, but it was all commercial work. You know, I was back to making money, but I wasn't happy and it made no sense to me. So that, that's uh, sort of at that point, that's when I changed my, uh, another change in my career. I went into a conceptual photography. This is the direction I'm sort of leaning to now. And the reason is, I'm so frustrated with the overly retouched skin tones. It's starting to drive me absolutely crazy. Um, I'm going back to this. I'm going back to a very rough, rough skin tone. And what this has done, uh, I've actually picked up some clientele. This is Mariana's Trench. Um, we turn them into toys. That's what this is all. Little plastic parts, which is kind of cool. This is my first Photoshop job ever, right here. Everything's photography. There's really no illustrative work. It's just how to manipulate the photographs. Um, everything has poetry and stories to it. It was a fun, fun, and incredible project to do. So this was one of the early conceptual ideas. And yeah, so that was, uh, that was kind of fun. Um, another one that I love, it's called Mob, Mob Stories. And it's based on the history of mobs sort of in Prohibition, early 30s, and we got newspaper clippings, like all these clippings in this book right here are all the original newspapers. So everything you see here is recreated. True stories of uh, violence and, you know, uh, some fun stuff in here. <laughs>